Welcome to Out and About, everyone. As you know by now, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Joey is getting his ass ready right now in the other room. So it's just us. It's just me. It's just you. And we're going to talk about BetterHelp. I'm sure you know what it is, but basically it's the world's largest uh, therapy service. BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists, and it's all online. You can do text, you can do video, you can do talking, or you can do um, just phone if you want. You can do any of it. It's very customizable, it's very affordable, and it's a very good thing for your mental health, which is connected to your physical health. We always say it, mental and physical, very tied close together. And if you thought about doing therapy before, there is no better option than BetterHelp. All you gotta do is fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist, and if things aren't clicking, you can switch that therapist out in a waiting room no traffic, no endless search for the right therapist. And right now you can learn more and save 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash out and about. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash out and about to get 10% off your first month. I really stand by this service, not to get all serious on you. Uh, and Joey does as well. So make sure you give it a try. Now enjoy our show and our interview with Fortune Feemster. Well, no, you know, I had after my after my um, I had a little incident I'll talk about later in the, in the um, Target yesterday. Um, well, you fought, you tried to fight a lady. No, That's a proper wild. This is also a sponsor. It was a security guard. Um, it was a whole male thing or about, female. I think about the cart. Um, I don't want to reveal their gender just to save well, their you identity. Don't know their ge- and you don't want to assume <laughs> their gender because no. if you assume their gender, then you're the bad guy. No, but I literally, I I don't know where I would be without better help. And I know, I know all the Jessica, the man mafia is like going wild. Which is what we need. We need to get ourselves right. They're going proper before the, <laughs> before <laughs> the Christmas break. Uh, we have some awesome. Well, we have Fortune Feemster today, who is like uh, uh, we were just talking about how much we loved her. I cried. Also, her glam squad. Yeah. Uh, hello, like yeah. the favorite. You're gonna do bag reveal bag reveals at each one of our guests that we have. Anyone um, go to the glam squad? I'm gonna go through their bag and judge them. What do we use it? What are we using to, uh, to combat shine? <laughs> <laughs> it was um, the best. How was your weekend? You went away. Are we allowed I'm to finally... talk? First of all, are we anything we say we can use in a clip? I'm just letting you know. Okay. So go ahead and spill the tea, dear. So the tea is I. So I've been looking for a Kiki Fall getaway. Okay. For how long now? Since September. Yeah, it's been like no, since uh, since August almost. Yeah. I've been wanting to do a fall getaway. Fall's my favorite season. <laughs> oh, since August. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I finally booked it. I found my Airbnb. We went up to Beacon, New York. Correct. Um, which I love Beacon, New York, because I know it very well because my best friend Snoopy, Nicole Snoozy Paluzzi, mm-hmm. Nicole Snooky Paluzzi has her own store. They're called the Snooky Shop. Very That's successful right. store. Very, um, very successful. I mean, it's the cutest, cutest town. It's either, which I wanted to go to Hudson originally. Right. Um, but I couldn't find anything, any houses that were cute enough for my liking. And um, the hotel I wanted to book, the Maker Hotel, which is honestly, if you're going to go, if you're going to go to Beacon, go to the Maker Hotel. It is the epitome of luxury class and kikiness. I couldn't get in there. So. <laughs> I decided to go to Beacon, and for good, good, good reason. If you know Beacon, you know it has great shops, great restaurants. Is your appendix falling out? It's something's happening again. They already took it out. Do you think the other organ? Is, I is think trouble? I might have stump appendicitis, which really don't get it all, and it's like coming back. Look Shit, at it. Really? Uh, something's happening to me. We'll power through. No, I'm fine. Go on. Ignore Uh-oh. my appendix. Can your organs wait till I talk about my? my yes. My, go, my, ahead. My, my go, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No free ads. So no free ads for your appendix. So we went to Beacon, New York. Now it is, first of all, I went, I went, I got to tell the kite, my kite story. Get it. Let's start from getting there. Okay. Do you have time for this? Yeah. Um, getting there. I use kite, K-Y-T-E. <laughs> we can free ads to all these fucking places. No, I'm not. It's not an ad. By simply talking about it, it becomes a free I'm ad. I'm telling people, I'm sharing the wealth. The it is the best thing ever. They drop your car off. I got a Dodge Durango. A Durango? A 2022 yeah. Dodge Durango, brand new. We've gotten chargers I, every time we've done it. Yeah, I can yeah. see you in a Dodge Dart. Yeah. It was <laughs> a Dodge, Kia Sophia. A Dodge compact. Durango, brand new, 2022, all the bells and whistles. I, yeah. felt I That was the start to the weekend. They delivered right to your door, and I didn't even have to go anywhere. They just go to your door. You, they... Um, Take a picture of your phone and they, they well, drive the craziest off. thing is the guy who shows up and drops the car it's then gets on a fucking electric scooter and zips away like he's a Bond villain. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, it's essentially, what was that car rental service called? When you were drunk. No, it was a car rental service and it was around for like a, just a little bit of time. Yeesh. But it was just like, it was like a zip car. This like new and improved zip okay, car. Okay, yeah. The I never used that. Still but, around. Yeah. but this is leverage. So anyway, we get up there. How much did it cost? How many days did you have the car? Let's see if we're going to oh. get into it. Oh, if it was, we had it for three days and it was, it was only three fifty. For three days? And that's driving. They drop it off to your house. Fiscally. No, Nana's being fiscally responsible. They drive it to your house and they pick it up when you're done. You can change it easily. It's like the fucking best thing ever. I'm happy for you. You get to Beacon. Now, get to Beacon. Well, it was raining. It was, it was a monsoon. And who are, and on, who are on, you on with? Friday. I'm with the, um, the guy that I'm seeing. And we get there. Oh. The getting there was it was it was treacherous. There was we were taking the Taconic up there. There was there was splashback. Who drove? I drove. Okay. 
because they're under they're under twenty five. Did you do roadhead? No, it was snowing. It was raining out. Have you ever done roadhead? Yeah, giving or receiving. Receiving. Really? Yeah. Interesting. From and a who, woman. Who was the, who was the lady? <laughs> I can't say her name. Well, that's because she works here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we get up there. Beautiful house. The house has every, the house has everything. Mid century modern. Um, um, I love those chairs. The mid century modern. The chairs. The it has a beautiful sunroom. It has the hot tub. And that was my my friend's my sorry my partner's big thing. He wanted to have a hot tub. And he it's loved, a he. It's he. They, okay. They have a hot tub. Oh no, they love hot tubs. I love hot tubs. So I was perfect. So as soon as we get there, I make some old fashions. And then now, next thing you know, I'm he's disrobing. I'm in the kitchen. Well, there was actually a there was actually an altercation before we get to the house. Okay. Regarding a, a shopping cart. Okay. And this is a, this will be the second shopping cart incident you'll hear about this you podcast. You have, I wouldn't be surprised if you were banned from all Whole Foods and Targets within the calendar year. Because you're having confrontations every time you go. People are getting upset at you. You're yeah. very brazen. brazen. Your jersey comes out. It's like it when we were at the out. beach over the summer. Yeah. And Joey went ballistic on that guy in the fucking tent because yeah. they, he was blocking the AC. Yeah. Fuck off. This isn't the Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah. It's like jersey. He goes from like zero to a thousand. But you also forgot your pills. I Spoiler alert. Pills. And he didn't take them for two days. So God help the partner that he was so everything. Everything. I've been on the, I've been no, on the receiving them. end of that fucking thing. I have them. So we get to the key foods. Okay. We get in the parking lot, and just just clear up. I think on the last podcast, I, when I was talking about the um, I don't know if it's just this podcast or the other one I do. If I was talking about when I took the stocking down after we got a little quarrel, it was and I, I folded yeah. it away. Just to clear up, we you never didn't fold it away. You did a full funeral ceremony. Well, we never just it, we, that was, I was being dramatic. We never broke up, and nothing bad happened. It was, it was a fake fight, and we were just like everything's fine, right? But nothing that's because you forgot the pills. Yeah, so now you're get, on them today, correct? Yes, I took one this morning. He made Thank sure of it. We're in the clear. So that we guys, get we're to, in the clear. We get to the whole, we get to the key foods, and I'm ready to shop. I'm ready to stock the house for the for the weekend. So I was like, I was like, can you get a cart? So I, he walks in. He, he 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 heard me say, can you get a cart? Get in the in the store. There's no cart. I go. Where, I was like, where's the cart? I, he goes. He goes. Oh, like, we don't need. It. He goes. Okay, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. I said, get a cart. He goes out. He comes back with a basket. He comes back. He comes back. They go. They said you have to be 16 to get a cart. Yeah. I can't, I can't he comes back with a basket. <laughs> I said. So where's the cart? He goes. He goes. I just got a basket. I said. I said. I said. Get a cart. I said. What? What, what is going on? Get oh, a cart. And. And then he like got frazzled. He finally got one, and he's like, "I can just carry everything in abu- here." Are you doing verbal abuse? No, I just have no time for for. Well, when you're shopping, you're a woman on a mission, and that's what people yes. have to understand about Nana is when she gets in that store. But now, then now she knows where the coats are. She knows where the charcuterie. Well, she knows just, where everything. Then he started else. questioning me, like, "How much stuff do you plan on getting?" And that's what set me to a spiral. I said, "I'm with you. I am with you, brother. Like, I plan. You know, I like to shop. Even if I don't need it, we're getting it." Yeah. Please don't tell me you over under for a weekend getaway. Mm-hmm. How much did you spend to stock the house for two people for a weekend getaway? Over under five hundred. Over five hundred. Just food? you know it's a bad weekend when Joey comes in when Joey starts dropping. My cameo is open. <laughs> no, I, said, I just said. I just, speaking of which, that's exactly after you get I this. saw it. I go, how much money did he? He goes, I need extra money. How I much need money extra did I money? Spend? Go to cameo.com right now and book me. I'm doing a 25 percent off sale now and through Friday. So today's Wednesday. You only have a few more days left. So we have to get it while it's hot because I don't be doing another sale until. Uh, until the next one. And you Wait. can also book me if you're not looking to refinance your house at uh, cameo.com slash barstool pet. Yeah, okay. we're not on the app. You have to go on the website. Yes. Website cameo.com forward slash Mr. P79. That's mine. Is that uh, 500 including booze or? Yes, including yeah. booze. Okay. Oh, okay. So that's, that's that better. Bad. 500 because you can get a nice bottle of booze. And that's I bought bucks, wine. You know what I mean? Yeah. I bought a huge thing of bourbon. Okay, so my the new wine's are sixty dollars. Okay, old fashioned. The, the, the bourbon was sixty seventy dollars. Does he pay for anything while you're there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did he pay for? I know he paid for the car. He paid for the car. I don't want anyone taking advantage of my nana. No, he doesn't. No, he, he chips it. I mean, obviously he's he's younger and he's you know starting his, career, his first year working in his career. Well, he it's a part time job and it's after school. Yeah. So the, so it's gonna so the and checks are sizably and smaller. And some weekends. And some week, if he doesn't have algebra, algebra, algebra camp. Well, he, you had to leave <laughs> early on Sunday because he has to get tutored Mondays before school. He goes school. to Kimo, the tutoring. Yes. Yes. Um, so he we got the Sylvan Learning Center at the fucking shopping. So mall. we get up to the house is Hooked stunning. Phonics. The house is stunning. Um, it was in Beacon, New York, and my hosts were names. I forget their names. It Lesbians? Matter. No, it was a nice, a nice straight couple. It's a lesbian enclave. No, it's a straight couple. Very nice, very nice. But yeah, all in all, the only only one thing I wish they had was king size beds. They were there was f- th- uh, oh. three full huge. You to sleep in a queen. Three bedrooms, three bathrooms, full on, um, beautiful furniture. Everything's new and beautiful. Oh, wow. But it was queen. So the thing is, he's up my ass anyway. We're cuddling like like a. 
we're connected like conjoined twins anyway. So, but it's like I like to roll over and have my space. Same with you. And you talking about you and you and your man. Well, you, I have a Montana king. It's like a little bigger than a regular king. It's a California so, king. So that it like longer provi- for it's giraffes. a Seneca king. It's like the biggest one. It's for so giraffes. Kind of provides the extra. I like my feet to hang off the bed. They have to hang. No, off the, the monsters bed. will bite them. The monsters will bite them. Who's the monsters? Have you ever seen the thing where they lay on the edge of the bed and they go, they put your the ass monsters out. will eat you and it's just their ass? They put there. their ass out there? Well, I'm glad, I'm glad everything went well this went weekend, well. Joe. We, yeah, I ran into some, some old friends. We went to, uh, we had brunch at um, some place. We went to dinner at some place. We, you know, we uh, had the best time. Very, very, very nice time. It was very classy. A little trashy. A little classy. Well, that's the best. You don't want too a little, classy. A lot assy. And a lot okay. assy. And... I have heard that you wore your bare bottom clothes that kept you warm. At the entire and time. That's all I wore. Yes, exactly. Um, bare bottom is a sponsor of ours. We love bare bottom. I'm actually in the bare bottom right now, traveling for the holidays. These are the most comfortable clothes on the planet. I'm actually going to go off script. I'm bare here. bottom under the table right now. I'm just going to tell you. Now he's bare backing <laughs> yeah. under the table with his bare bottom. As we speak. I just want to talk to you guys really quick about bare bottom. Ladies, if you are looking for a gift for your husband, oh. barebottomclothing.com slash out. Free shipping. Barebottomclothing.com slash out free shipping. Barebottomclothing.com slash out free shipping. They sent me this. The sweatpants that they sent, it's like the so ones you wear cozy. around the house because they have the thick ones and then the thin ones. Like my mother got this for all the males in our family. And even you can get oversized stuff or regular size stuff. Why did you say that to me? What do you mean? She looked at me and said, "You can get oversized stuff." Like, no, no, no. No. now he will lash out. No, he I won't lash out. I will say though, yes. I wear the biggest size in their things. Because I have their shorts all summer long. I wear their shorts, but they stretch. Most of their shit stretches. Yes, everything yeah. stretches. They have my. They have every size for they're a skinny mini like me, yeah. or a fat slob or like a Trish. Pig. Yes. Um, the, uh, 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 what is it? Undetectable scat sub. Yeah, they have every size. The, 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 the okay, I like to talk about this. The, the sweatsuits, the yeah. ones they sent us not, now. The, remember the green ones we have? The red and black crew one. Necks. The yeah. crew neck sweat, the long sleeve t-shirts, every, the quality of these clothes. Like I, I wash my clothes, not a lot, but like, you know, like I, I usually don't wash clothes a lot because they always shrink and they get out of shape. You can wash these every single day and nothing, they never lose your color. Yeah. They never fade. They never get the shape loss. All this, all the athletic wear, um, they can stretches right back. They wash like a dream. They don't stay. It's just like the best, nicest. I, I don't buy nice clothes for myself. And bare bottom is like, it's like the nicest clothes I have. Cause it's like everything, every piece is just so interchangeable. You don't need anything else. Well, they have, have a whole tw- wardrobe. They have 25,000 five star reviews. And if you're, if you're a little skeptical, you want to start with the t-shirt. Great. Go online. Get the we t-shirt. would not lie to you. I'm telling you, this is the best shit ever. It's awesome. I'll get the t-shirt done. You can upgrade. You can do more things. It's great gift for the holidays. Again, barebottomclothing.com slash out for free shipping and load up because you're going to love it. You said um, I went out drinking this weekend for the first time since my surgery. What were you drinking? Boniva? I mean, I was in sure. I was drinking. <laughs> oh my God. No, I took another stool softener and it was like a, a problem. 72 hours after I thought it was done and it was out of my system. Next thing you know, I'm sitting on the couch. I sit down on the toilet. It sounds like- On the ivory couch? On the ivory couch. It sounds like someone- through a can of Campbell's chunky God tomato God. soup in a wood chipper and then started a Harley Davidson underwater. You sharted on the couch. <laughs> no, I almost, <laughs> I almost did. It was bad. Uh, but I drank, I had fun and I'm on the mend right now. How do you always get my phone? You gave it to me cause you didn't want me to, didn't want me to do it, to look at it. I found a love letter in here. From? From oh, him. No, you did it. I, like, he, like he left and I, well, he didn't leave, but I, I got my phone. All of a sudden I looked into the clear case and there was a love note in there. And what did it say? It Recite? Just, it was just saying. It was just saying thank you so much for all you do, and you had a nice weekend. I, I, you know, this was a beautiful weekend. Thank you for having me. Um, it was for Marty, actually. It was, believe it or not, it was for Marty. The office is kind of. I missed the office not being here for. Gaz me. Like, is here. Gaz is here. He's been in New York for a while now. His parents are going down to Miami. Um, this Friday is the Scottsdale Miami or Scottsdale Arizona Barstool Bar opening. I believe we have an it's option. It's Scottsdale. Isn't it? Scottsdale. I believe we have an opening to an option to go. Should we go to Arizona? What day is it? I'm busy. Friday. This Friday? Yeah. I couldn't possibly. Why? Um. He's cleaning out his sock drawer. <laughs> no, I do need to cut my spice drawer though. Don't get me started. Why can't you go Friday? Should I, I go? Should I go? Um. Well, it's me, it's Uncle D, it's you, it's Gaz. That's what was inviting me, me, you, Dave Portnoy. It's it's Biz. Friday the 18th. I want to meet Dave's girlfriend, Sylvana. I feel like we would have a lot of fun with her. Friday the 18th. I love Arizona. Like my, bro- my brother lives out there, like Scottsdale, Old Town. It's gonna be it's gonna be fucking awesome. Do we have Man Mafia in Arizona? Of course. I'm How sure. do we get there? You fly on the plane. Oh, could, it's if a you long could fly flight. private, would you go? Yeah, that's a long private flight. I don't think we do that. I think they would probably. It? I mean, I mean it, it's like five hours commercial ish. But do private planes go s- slower? No, I've never. Unless they you go, go whatever speed they want to go, they do the speed above the speed limit. Yeah, 
Interesting. Uh, did you watch the new Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie? Yes, it is Falling for Christmas. And was, I could not be more excited about it. I thought it was the worst movie before I, I saw it. Before I before I saw <laughs> it, it was the worst. It well, so I love Lilo. Like it. it is what it is, right? Like they had a sense of humor about it. She, she okay, singing but, the Mean Girls song in the beginning. It was you know it is what it is. I couldn't take my eyes off it because it was like a third grader wrote the movie. Yeah, it was a horrible I can't story. But she looks she stunning. Is back, baby. Kimmel, Fallon. GMA today she's on all these things the red hair poised red gorgeous stunning but her performance was old school Lindsay Lohan yes. she's giving Freaky Friday the same professionalism the same comedic timing the same everything her she is back she's back 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 I just came, I want her to see I want to see her in cool fun actual good roles this Christmas movie it was very novelty it was very kitschy it was cute yeah. you know Santa went like this looking for coke he went yeah <laughs> I was like oh now she wants a bump <laughs> and there's this new Christmas song out Everybody's waiting for the man with the bag, and so that's of course I'm a drug addict. The man with the bag. Yes, that's sing it again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody's waiting for the man with the bag. That's a, the Christmas song. Can and we it's play about, it? It's about cocaine. We can't play it. <laughs> it's about Google. it's about Santa having his business the bag. But like as, oh. as a drug addict, it's like everyone's waiting for the man with the bag. So like all the all the kids are like, uh, yo. <laughs> we have a Barstool Christmas party coming up. I'm so excited. Do we, can we bring guests? No plus. There's a strict no plus one. Unless you're, Large is the only guy who gets a pass. Large can bring Annie. Because I say Annie does She work works here. here. Yeah. There's no... There's no pl- a strict no plus one, which I think is good. You don't want to be fucking talking about Should I bring Justin Mancini as my plus one? Yeah. I think you should. He's mad at me. Why is he bad? Him, but him and Justin Summer are, you know, my, my two... Justin Summer? Youngstown Bob? Oh. Hot. Joey. Best friends though. He lives my neighbor. Justin Summer. Justin Summer. So Justin Summer lives like a block from me. One block from me. I, I like Youngstown Bob, but you got to get going a, to new not, para, not, a new prescription, my friend. Because that is not. No, listen. So he gets me because I don't go out anywhere, and I always diss people. I, I'm flaky when it comes to going out plans. I don't think you are. I think you go out when the time is right for you, but you have to catch Joey early enough because if he's caught early. Then you'll go out, but that's your problem because you want to go out early and stay. I just have plans. Like if, I, if my, my my plans aren't in by two o'clock, I ain't going nowhere. But if you started at like eight, that's late. I know because then you'll be up till like five. Well, I'll buy. I won't get my dr- bags of <laughs> until like nine, and then <laughs> you know if, it, if, I have to, if I have to crush it up myself, that's a whole other fifteen <laughs> minutes. Then the bag breaks. I have to ask if anyone has a film container. <laughs> just speaking on honestly here. Um, Marty's gonna have to. Marty's gonna have to bleep that. No, you he can goes, tell him. Remember, Marty yelled at us about talking about. I he mean, goes, like he goes, "Don't talk about <laughs> if you want to bleep." Or let me. I yeah, think right. that's the comedic effect <laughs> is bleep because no one knows that we're talking about. <laughs> so Lindsay Lohan, back to her. But speaking of <laughs> Lindsay Lohan, yeah. um, she doesn't do it anymore. No, but she. <laughs> I, I want her to. I want to take. I hope this is like a um, a catalyst for her career. I want to see her in some not drama films, but just like really cool, fun movies, like playing different characters, like you know, like better directors, better better actors, better storylines, better better uh, screenplays, like all this shit. I want her to start her acting career again and then have a whole new wave. Sure, I thought her face was going to be too like you know how sometimes if everyone's faces are too frozen with the Botox. Right. I don't do Botox, and I never no. will. God no. Look, um, she holds such a she holds such a special place in my heart, and I think pretty She's much America's any, sweet. I mean, pretty much any dude that's my age, like yeah. she's like exactly my age. So she was the first like actress where it was like, oh, she's my age. That's attainable. Like, I yeah. like that. I could have. Yeah. I so wonder yeah. if yeah. she's like outgrew her acting abilities, though. No, like, you know she how, like, was great. It's easy I mean, to act as a kid. You just got to stand there and be cute and smile, whatever. Which like, did, how is she going to top Parent Trap? And I mean, mean girl. that I was think a she did. stellar I think she acting killed, job. She killed it. Trap. Oh, it's a storyline. It was it was the script. I think she can act, but I don't know if people will give her roles in good movies because, Maybe. oh, it's Lindsay Lohan. Like, is that a deterrent for like a fucking Martin Scorsese was making a film. I, I mean, that's Lindsay what happened Lohan. to her career is that the baggage from casting her got to be too much. And like, I mean, hopefully she's outgrown it. Well, she, like, she yeah. was, she was, ha- the problem was that in Hollywood, the problem was the- and I, I was on the end of this one time because I worked with her before. She has a notorious, um, she had a notorious um, thing of being late, not showing and being unprofessional on set. Right. And all those things occurred when I worked with Same. her. <laughs> she showed up two hours late. She was, you did her makeup. Yeah. She was smoking inside. What do you, what do you use for a base? Foundation at the yeah. time. I think I just use a little bit of face and body from Mac Cosmetics, and then some, um, some spot concealing with um, Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. You're gonna want to get rid of those freckles. And how about the eye? On the eye? Yep. We kept it very clean. I, just, I think I just used bronzer in her in her in her crease with a little bit of a a gloss on the lid. And so what about the lip? The lip. Um, yep. I think we just did something. 
I don't remember. Probably something like, simple and nude. No, she's going to want like color Charlotte. Pop. I'd probably, yeah. No, I'd probably do like Charlotte uh, Pillsbury Pillow Talk Chew Medium Lip Liner um, with <laughs> Pillsbury a buck, Pillow a Talk. some gloss. Um, um, oh. So no, so she showed up late. She was smoking inside, acting oh, up, wilding I out. I love her. Um, you know, saying that she was, I wasn't smoking in here. So she was a little messy, but just enough for what I like. You know, I, I, I thrive with messy. She's real. I That's thrive with messy her. girls. Oh, so, you yes. Know. You, you absolutely do. Speaking <laughs> of messy. That's why Sandra and I are so close. Speaking of messy girls, we're going to have content Kim come in for our Thanksgiving show. And she's going to show us how to butt chug a Coors Light. <laughs> <laughs> So she gets up. Boys, hold my legs. We're gonna hold it. Did you see the um the, the dick riding um seminar I sent you? No. I sent it to you on Instagram. A dick riding seminar? There's a class you can take to learn how to ride dick. You sent me a man in traditional uh Islamic garb with a boner walking through the desert. I remember you did that. I don't it was remember right the after other... that one. And now he was he was gorgeous. Now he was hung like a camel, believe it, believe it or not. I see I know I thought I was cured. I still have dizzy fever. Oh my god. Do you see it? No. Go on your text messaging. On text, text or Insta. Instagram. Text or Insta. It's right here. Shout out to Judy Greer. Who dick school. Hashtag dick school. Oh, yeah. Happy graduation. Riding dick for rookies. San Diego and LA up next. Should we take this class? Yeah, well, I was going to send it to Content Cam and ask if she can show us. <laughs> but then you can get, to, you get a diploma on how to ride the dick. Interesting. It reminds me of that thing from, uh, what's her old school where Andy Dick is oh, teaching yeah. how to blow someone on the yeah. carrot. Mm -hmm. Is it hard for you to ride dick? Since you're so, your legs are so fucking long. If you're on your knees, there's a good 15 feet from the, from your ass to the, to the edge of the bed. Well, very flexible. So the knees will fold. My knees will crack. They and will buckle. crack. I wonder if these, oh, never mind. I can't say that. Marty, um, what, do you, so do you, as, as a male, do you like, before we, do you like getting ridden? Like, do you like being yeah, rode? Yeah, I do. A lot. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> Any guy ever. Yeah. I like it a lot. It's pretty What's good. Your, What's your favorite It's not position? bad. That, yeah, pro yeah, probably cowboy. Road? Yeah. So or riding doing, her. Is that because you're lazy? <laughs> That's probably like a factor uh, in it. Yeah. What is your favorite <laughs> position to be top to be if, to be if you're topping? Sloppy toppy. Probably not being not being road. Probably just missionary or doggy. I don't care. It's all the same. Sex is boring. It's like you bit. have enough sex. It's like okay, I'm over it. Do you agree? Yeah. I just like to be behind the wall. <laughs> Joey, now my position is actually there's usually a sheet. <laughs> With a hole um, cut out. We want to get to our interview with Fortune Femes, sir, because it was absolutely great. But we are going to talk to you guys really quickly. About, about lesbianism. About lesbianism. Oh, Fortune. I'm we want to talk to you guys about Proper Wild. In case you didn't know, Proper Wild is a clean all-day energy shot designed to boost your energy, focus, and productivity without the jitters or crash. No preservatives or artificial sweeteners. No horrible chemicals. Just natural tasting energy shot with clean ingredients that work. I got to be honest with you guys. I have always been an energy drink guy to the point where like I couldn't stop. I got myself clean and I picked up the proper wild because I met the guys who work there and they're the most personable guys ever. Uh, there are no jitters. There's no clashes. It's basically a cup no of crash, coffee. No, no come crash. Down. It's a cup of coffee without the, without, you know, the staining of the teeth and the breath and the diarrhea and everything that comes with coffee. Proper wild is delicious. And if you go to properwild.com slash barstool, get it for 30% off. Joey, you like the berry? Is that your favorite? Blackberry is my favorite, but I right. also like that orange color one. I don't know what flavor it is, but it's like I think the, it's mango all, or tangerine or something. Tasty. They're all yeah. tasty. I like that it's little. Like I don't have to like drink a whole thing and get full. You get the energy. It's a small, compact thing. You can throw these in your gym bag. Throw them in my backpack. I have them in my desk. Throw them in your drawer. bussy. Even. Throw them right in your bussy. I pour mine in my bussy. Actually, I take I take, I take it via osmosis. Well, Kim showed him how to hold the legs back, and he was. Able and to I'm not gonna lie, guys. I I talked to the guys personally, so they didn't really care for Jude. Oh, I you love the one owner. I love the one on but I do this. I, what I've been doing is instead of like getting um, I vodka sodas are so boring when I go out or tequila sodas. I kept Proper Wild in my backpack at yeah. all times. I pop, I throw a Proper Wild in my vodka soda, or my tequila soda. It tastes delicious. It gives me energy. That's called and cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. Like, I mean, you can, I, it's, I don't, it's not how you it's supposed to be made or used. But you know what? You do you. <laughs> go to properwild.com right now slash barstool for thirty percent off your first order. Nice, Joe. All right, here is our interview with Fortune Feimster. Enjoy. We are here with a very funny um, actress, comedian, writer, and um, comedian. Comedi comedian. Do you go by comedian or comedian? I don't know. I guess comedian. <laughs> well, it's comedian <laughs> seems like a it's lot. It's so 80s. <laughs> well, it's right. Fortune Theme, sir. Everyone knows. Um, congratulations on the new Netflix special. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, Joey, you handed her some vagisil to start the show. Is that well, correct? Well, I have because the mean girls were in here and they left them here. They have a bad pH. I'm oh my there's, gosh. there's rosemary in there, believe this it or is not. This is a it's antiseptic. It's, this is healthy detox. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it has eucalyptus in it. Yeah. So that's for, for, for cooling and tingling. Yeah, that's And great. rosemary is actually an antiseptic from the, from the Mayan years. <laughs> All right. Would you want tingling? I would want tingling if I had a vagina. 
when I have a vagina, sorry. Oh. <laughs> apologies, apologies. Get ready. Yeah. Um, how you been? What you been up to? Thanks for coming in. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. I've just been uh, working. Just, yeah. you know, I finished up my tour and the special came out and then I've been promoting that and then I already announced the new tour. They don't give me any, uh, they don't give me a minute. Now she's booked and busy. Yeah. <laughs> But I was uh, in Toronto for five months filming. Uh, with, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. With Arnold Schwarzenegger. How exciting. It was awesome. Was Danny DeVito there too? He was not. Oh, I saw a picture though. Didn't oh, I? we. Uh, I went to Arnold's house. Oh, you know. Just humble brag. Now we're besties. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> did you meet the love child? I did. <laughs> he's, still, I did no, he's still hidden in a trailer on set, believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not. But Danny was there because uh, they're buds. So they How still hang cool. out. Yeah. What a fun, what a fun trip. You know, you've done many movies. She's a movie star. Oh yeah. You guys such a movie star. I know. I love it. I've been a fan of yours since Chelsea lately. Um, that's mm. where, that's where I discovered you. I've been, oh, awesome. I, I couldn't like stop. Uh, you're hysterical. Oh, thank you. That was my you. favorite show. Um, it was fun. We laughed a lot. We used, we were constantly pulling barstool sports and trying to get her to talk about like more of yeah, that yeah. stuff. And she's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She always kept it fresh and let you guys do all the dirty work. That's right. Are you guys still in touch at all? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I talked to her quite a bit. We had margaritas a couple weeks ago. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, she's just like in such a good place. Very happy and very light. It's it's uh, it's nice well, yeah. to see her like this. Well, you had a few margaritas last night, Joe. Oh, yeah. Joe, uh, what happened? I had six bottles of wine. Six bottles. That's not a, by that's myself. A, it's a, a Wednesday. I had a friend. I had a friend. Yeah. So I'm not feeling good. Now, Trish has, um, she's going through it as well. She thinks she has. Um, I thought I had sp- this morning, I thought I had appendicitis. Then I thought I had pancreatitis. Then I was Googling early signs of Parkinson's. Oh. <laughs> because the stomach, now the stomach will go in a knot. Uh-huh. And I texted him and say, I was like, I can't come in. I can't come in. Um, turns out it was gas. Just gas. So, <laughs> so I'm, so Did I'm you take a now. gas sex? Yes. So you ordered everything on Uber I, Eats. I ordered everything on Uber Eats. I ordered, what's it, Ducalax? Ducalax. Ducalax. Ducalax, I did an, an, is a that fleet. A dookie, is that a dookie thing? Yeah, it's overnight though, so I couldn't take it. <laughs> and then I did a fleet enema at four in the morning, like a lunatic on my bathroom. Maybe oh. that'll open me up. Wow. Like so a frantic struggling. bottom with a and guy now, coming out. And now what's this? Now our hands will shake Your fortune. hands are shaking. <laughs> now this is Revitalite. <laughs> what is Believe happening? It or not. <laughs> you're, um, you're a Southern belle, North Carolina I girl. Am. Yeah. Proud. I, we, we're obsessed with everything Southern here. Really? Um, especially, um, do you think Brenda's going to come over here today? Um, you never know. She might pop up. She Brenda, might be in I'm your hot obsessed. Tub right now. She's the best. We're going to turquoise on. <laughs> well, I got bored. I got bored at different points in my life, and I just start putting on a wig and makeup. And girl, that's how I got myself I... here. Tales old tales old stuff. We should show the wig wall after the show. <laughs> yeah, walk over to the wig wall. <laughs> the wig wall. Um, so she does a character on her Instagram called Brenda, which is like you know we we are very southern here as well. Yeah, yeah. we fancy ourselves southern women, but uh, we're not from the south. Well, I was about to say, where did you grow up? I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. And I'm from Boston. She's from Boston. Yeah, y'all are definitely not Southern. <laughs> yeah, not Emotionally, Southern. I think I am. Spiritually, You're, probably. You see yourself in the Old South drinking Ye- a mint julep? Yeah, drinking mm-hmm. a Polynesian pearl, okay. perhaps. Something, <laughs> maybe some rum. Uh-huh. I don't know, but we found this lady, Tammy, on Instagram. I want to we'll know who is Tammy is. Is that Chelsea Lynn? No, 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 no. Is Tammy is a, she's Tammy. a fashion blogger for women over 50. She's I thought you were advocate. talking about trailer trash Tammy. Oh, I know oh, her. Oh, she's the best. Yeah, she's funny. Um, she was just on a Tim Dillon show. Well, yeah, just yeah. on like a month or so ago. I listened. I was in. I was in tears. She's very laughing. funny. There's a video of her with they're pulling a fake road shoe across the table, and she <laughs> takes her giant boob and smashes it. <laughs> she's the best. This is her. Funny. This is Tammy's fashion knows no age. Is her Instagram yeah. handle? And she works at the Willow Tree, okay. which is a, a high end fashion boutique for women over fifty. Oh, I've never heard of the Willow Tree. That's you didn't get this there. I'm not. <laughs> no, I, I'm not quite there. <laughs> this is her yet. here. She does. She does uh, Instagram or TikTok live. And she goes, now y'all, this now is, y'all. We, now we're going to, we're going to, this is a transition sh- uh, shirt. So I could wear this from the desk and bring it into <laughs> evening time. Now desk to dusk, I like to call it. And she's, um, oh, all she's I like to do is back home my hair. Woman. Yeah. Oh, it's not a character. I thought Over this 50. was a fun character. No, that's her. And this is who Brenda wants to be. She's I know. Just, but she's at home just yelling at her husband. Tim. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, those ladies have to elongate everything. Yeah. Tim is Tim. Tim. <laughs> That's a trigger word here on this podcast. I was cheated on by a guy named Tim. Oh, here we go. It's getting brought up again. Let's let's unpack it. Let's unpack it. Please, please God, no. The year was 2012. (laughs) Okay. And what happened? Um, He cheated on me and then he told me about it. Um, He was drinking a blue Powerade. Oh. Um, We were at the Wawa parking lot. The Wawa? Well, yeah. And he just said, I cheated on you. Let me tell you how it unfolded. And then I... Had him said pull over, and I got out of the car and got in the, went some of the trunk and got a Xanax. Uh huh. You know, I went about my day. Oh, and then she pulled over. Why was your Xanax in the trunk? 
Because I had my, it was in my beach bag. Who's a, who's a drug traveler? Pull over. I got to go into my beach bag stat. I need it, y'all. Suddenly I need your it. southern voice. I was drinking out. skinny girl margaritas. Get me in that trunk. I got to get my Xanax out of my beach bag. I was drinking, um, uh, what's your name? Bravo. Uh, Bethany Frankel's Skinny, Skinny Girl Margaritas. Skinny Girl Margaritas, yeah. yeah. you drink a whole bottle. And I was on Weight Watchers at the time, so I was counting points. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, wa- I wasted all my points on that bottle, so. Well, you had you were going through it. Yeah. And uh, then what happened? Did you break up right away? Yeah, right away. He never called me again. Wait, why didn't you never call him again? No, we talk, We you. still talk. I still, I'm still trying to get back with him. <laughs> right? Yeah. No. Well, you just got married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the subject. No, keep going. Please keep going. That's it. And now, we talk now, about him every day I, on every show. We talk about oh Tim. Oh, my we God, really? It was this was ten years ago, Joe. I know, Joe. You, but the, you know what happened though on TikTok? Some one I think a screen name of his followed me on TikTok this week. What was it? What, why does he have mul- why does he have multiple screen names? Well, because he blocked me on all the other socials. Oh my god! He creates burners and follows. Now he yeah. now he has many burner accounts. <laughs> yeah. Sandra, who does our social, will help with Joey's Twitter, uh-huh. and she'll go oh. on and every once in a while she'll log on and it'll be the burner account. Yeah. And it's the most foul porn mm. you've ever seen. Well, on that's Twitter. the new way to, the way the way of the world. Now we used to be on Tumblr. And now she. Yeah. Now she was a blog queen for many years. Um, <laughs> Craigslist. Um, I'm seeing that. But Casual so I go on. I go on. Switch at the yeah. I go on. Um, I need uh, you to get over to him. I know. Like Tim. now. Like no, I'm today. over. I have someone new. You do. Yeah. And you, and you're over Tim. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't he, believe you. He almost made a mistake last night. No, I did not. Wait, you made a mistake. Oh, what oh. happened? Well, you know, when Nana gets a couple cocktails in her, right? six bottles of Barolo, one thing leads to another. And the next thing you know, she's face down a pile of booger sugar. Okay. <laughs> now, now, now that now clock oh, no. fast forward three hours. Now she's on the phone. Okay. And you never know Did where things call? are going to go. Did y'all talk on the phone? No, I was, I was, I was wincing and I didn't call pain. anyone. Don't get me in trouble. We I, listen, in trouble. We're nothing not, happened. I'm not here to reprimand you. I'm oh, either. oh, but your person might be watching this. Yeah. They don't watch, do they? The yeah. person, the person is Dave Portnoy. Yeah, I'm Dave, Dave Portnoy. <laughs> so wait, how is married life? Yes, it's tell good. us. Good, we got married in October of 2020, but what? we've been we've been together for seven years. So where'd you guys meet? Uh, gay Pride in Chicago. You did? Yeah. Were, you, were you the ring bearer? Are we oh, not the ring bearer? Were you the um, grand marshal of that parade? No, I was just there. Uh, my friends were holding a big Pride event and said, "Come, will you come introduce?" I think Ruby Rose. I oh, yeah, like, yeah. Sh- sure. Why She's not? hot. And uh, so I was just there to do that. How exciting. And Is she from been, Chicago? Uh, she's from Michigan, but oh. she had been living in Chicago. A Midwestern like queen. Mm-hmm. There's so many triggers that are happening right now. We mentioned the Pride Parade. Now, yeah. now Joey's mother passed on the Dyke March. My mother, my mother did pass on the Dyke March. What do you mean passed on it? She she, she, she died on the Dyke March. Over, over the rainbow, <laughs> now, now she didn't get Over sta- the rainbow, now, now she didn't get stampeded. <laughs> Believe it or not. She, she, did not she was die. actually not yeah, in she South did Korea. She did not die in the Contra Dyke March. Contrary to she did not get stampeded at the Dyke March. Um, yeah, she passed, she passed the night of the Dyke March. The night of, but not at the Dyke March. They're just she was there in spirit. Well, <laughs> no, no pun intended. She disappeared for there about two hours. There a march going on in the world. <laughs> no, she disappeared for two hours and no one knew where she went. Yeah. Next yeah. thing we know, she's with a woman named Susan. <laughs> um, no, her name in was the Susan. But she went out happy. She did go out happy. If um, she so was so with so Susan, the, she was so, taken yeah. care of. It's a trigger, it's a trigger for me, the, um, the Dyke March. Oh, no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, she went out on top. Yeah. Or bottom. Yeah, we don't know. She could have been a bottom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you ever attended the Dyke March? Uh, I have, yeah. They're fun. Yeah, I bet. I went to the one in San Francisco. Single ladies. There's like a big truck that just drives and everyone. I'm not just, surprised. <laughs> everyone just dances and walks behind it. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Um, of Dyke Marches? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure, Which I'm, has the best food? That one was fun. <laughs> You know lesbians don't bring snacks. Yeah, they're they're bad at hosting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're hardy. Yeah, they'll get the <laughs> gay. The gays build are a great set for hosts, you, but they don't eat the <laughs> yeah. food. They'll bring a crock pot full of heavy chili. <laughs> yeah, but they want. No, they won't bring a snack. You can't find a charcuterie board within twelve miles of oh the duck barn. I love the charcuterie <laughs> board. <laughs> yeah, there's no finger foods happening. Just yeah. a bowl of chili. What was your wedding like? Did you have a, a grand wed- a grand wedding? No, we got married in the middle the of the pandemic. Oh. So we weren't allowed to have a big grand thing. I would do that too because when you're when you're like um, stuck with each other like that and like, you start getting on each other's nerves, you have to lock that down before. Yeah, you're like, let's just do you it. Piss each other off. We uh, we <sighs> invited a couple friends. We rented like an Airbnb out Ooh. in Malibu. Oh, how fancy! And um, got married right there on the deck. And had <laughs> who, did, some, who did your service? Uh, we hired someone from like a 
same day wedding kind same of day wedding dot com. Yeah. It was Governor Newsom, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, she, some woman in a mask came out, uh, a Russian woman. Oh, oh a dearly mask. beloved. You know, oh, like, uh, we are gathered here today. Did you wear a white? Pants I, suit? I'm not great at accents. What did you wear? Did you wear? Um, white I chinos. A, I wore a suit, a blue yeah. suit. A blue. Yeah. Something blue. It brought out my eyes. She's married to a gorgeous lipstick lesbian. Is that still a thing? Lipstick lesbians? Yeah, we were talking you about that. You wore lipstick though. I do. Look at this. I know. Um, <laughs> did, you, did you beat her face today? Did you beat the beat up? Yeah, yeah Joanne beat, beat my face today. Uh, we worked on that Arnold show together. Oh, yeah. cool. You make lifelong friends. I was a makeup artist um, in Hollywood for many years before you I do work? this. I still do. I still dabble. Are you friends with any of those people um, that you worked on? I've worked... I've met, I've met Schwarzenegger before on The Apprentice. Oh, he did that? He was the host. No. Schwarzenegger was not no, the host. He was yes, he was. That. That's Trump show. Oh, did he do a he second? Did, was there a second did, remake there, that wish Schwarzenegger? Did, he did do Arnold Schwarzenegger was the out. host of The Apprentice. He was? Yes. But it was uh, it was Trump first, right? It was Trump first. Wait, Arnold I had Schwartz no idea that he did that. Yeah. Apprentice. I was like, I was like uh, you've mistaken No, him. I met him on a horse. He was on. I did a, video, a commercial oh, okay. shoot with him. He was on a horse. Oh, wait. He, the season marked the only appearance of Arnold. Yeah, he was the host. Oh, I had season. no idea. Uh, you obviously don't know your friends, Fortune. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> call you. Get your boy, girl. Okay. <laughs> I gotta talk to him about this. <laughs> um, now Arnold is actually outside the door right now. Yeah, we're gonna he's be very upset. No, but you make lifelong friends um, with the make him hair people. Yeah, you know well, I mean? you spend like you know twelve so hours a day with each other, and yeah, the, you know they're in your face, you're in their face, and I hear your sister. Yeah, you become friends. Um, I'd love to hear stand up story. What you were talking about um, how you proposed, and there was a very colorful man um, from the theater mm -hmm. that was helping you. That was when I, I was on the floor dying. <laughs> Lumi Air is the guy's name that you're uh, the candle guy. Oh yeah. Oh, the, the, I couldn't the, think of Lumiere? it. Yeah, the the Lum yeah, from oh, the, the uh, Beauty and the Beast. And the Where the did Beast. you propose? Where, 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 where at a hotel? I was, yeah, I won't say the name of the place. Yeah, uh, we don't want to blow it up. But uh, yeah, it was up in Big Sur. It was, uh, How pretty. you know, it was just one of those things where everything just kept kind of going wrong. Yeah. And I couldn't get it back on track. <laughs> how, so, long, how long did you date for? Uh, that, we were, oh, before we got engaged? Yeah. Um, That would have been maybe th three years in. That's a good time, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Three you years. have to live with each other. You have to know you can yeah. do that. I think that's important to do that first. Mm -hmm. So we had been living together for two years. Yeah, because you don't want to move in and then find out, you know, they're yeah, crazy. Some people they're can't live yeah. together. She's a mouth breather in her sleep. Yeah, so. Next thing you know. <laughs> the halitosis will not be You're getting out of your beach bag <laughs> yeah. in a trunk. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all. All right, we're going to take a quick break from our interview with Fortune to talk to you guys about Manscaped. It's never too early to play holiday music, and it's never too early to start thinking about gifts, whether that's gifts for your friends or the friends in your pants. Make sure you go uh, check out the Manscaped Mower 4.0. That's what we're advertising right That's now. The Manscaped Mower 4.0. That's the one that you just used this weekend. I love it. It has a little light on it and Nana's eyes aren't great. I'm, right. I'm, my sight will go. Um, but one thing I know is I'm not going to cut myself because of the Manscaped, or, um, sorry, because of the Manscaped Premium Pack Platinum 4.0. It, uh, it has um, ceramic blades. It, it doesn't nick you. It has a little light on it. I can go right to skin, go under my grundle, get in my coolie, <laughs> get his coolie, get my, um, you know. I'll get, I'll, you, I'll, can get, you can get everyone's coolie detail, in the room. I will detail my bikini line. Yeah, well, he'll um, take a hair diaper. Now, he'll make a deep V, but it's the Manscaped Platinum Package It has everything in it. You got the Lawnmower 4.0. You got the Weed Whacker. You got the shampoo and conditioner, the body wash, the deodorant. Everything for your men's grooming needs you can get with the Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0. It's great for you. It's great for a loved one. It's a great holiday gift. And right now you can get 20% off and free shipping with the code about at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code about manscaped. Get your jingle balls ready for the holidays. Back to Fortune Feimster. How long are you in New York for? Uh, I leave tomorrow. Oh, are you doing any other fun appearances? Yeah, I did the Today Show and Drew With Hoda? Barrymore. Yeah. Today Drew Barrymore Show? Today's. Drew Barrymore. That's his, your friend Ross Matthews yeah. over there. Was, oh. was he there? Yeah, he was there. How funny. He moved to New York, I guess. Uh, I didn't he, realize yeah, that. Yeah, he lives He's out so here funny. Now. He's great. I know. Yeah. We got to get him on. Yeah. So the new special is coming out or just came out? It just came out. Yeah. I can't wait to watch it. I'm so I, excited. I'm excited for you Good to watch fortune. it. Good fortune. It's called Good Fortune. Tell us a little bit about what you expect in the special. What do you cover? Uh, Well, it, I'm kind of following my life. Like my first hour, Sweet and Salty, was yes. about growing up and Sweet and Salty. Figuring out Hooters. Uh, Hooters. I talk about that. Your mother said, Your mother, uh, what's her name? Uh, Ginger. Ginger. Yeah. Ginger's She's, like, I would never in front of her new boyfriend. I've never been to Hooters. We tried to get wings for you and you, Hooters wings. They don't open until noon. Oh, yeah. Well, they're a big sponsor of. 
the firm. So we got Hooters jackets everywhere, but we just didn't find them. I love their wings. They're really good. They don't travel as well. You got to eat them right then. Yeah, you must. You celebrated your birthday at Hooters. I did when I was twenty-one. And acted like oh, you were (laughs) twenty-one. Yeah. You didn't go as a young girl. I went my whole life. Yeah. But but (laughs) I talk about in the special in the first special about celebrating my twenty-first birthday there. Oh right, right. But I was in the closet. And, and they like, paraded me around the restaurant, <laughs> made me stand on a bar stool, <laughs> and the waitresses circled around me and jumped up and down. And my so, present was to look at their tatas. Uh, and yeah. while all these, like, southern, just us girls, <laughs> all these southern men <laughs> staring at me, like, why is she up there? So, uh, yeah, I talk about that in my first one. This one, Good Fortune Follows, where I'm at now. Yeah. Getting, uh, growing Married up, woman. being an adult, getting engaged, getting married. Ha- and being a movie star. Yeah. I don't talk about that. Scenario. Maybe that's the next one. I know. Movie star. Big time fortune. Maybe big t- fortune. More t- <gasps> big fortune. Big, big time fortune. fortune. Big fortune can mean a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that's, that's heavy loaded. <laughs> A lot of different ways but, you can take that. Yeah, it's good. It's uh, it's out now on Netflix. How and exciting! I want people to watch it. No, I'm definitely gonna watch it. And I have a whole new tour that's. Coming I know out. what city you're hitting all the cities. I'm hitting all the cities. We're gonna announce a lot more, but this is just like I'm gonna a come pre- see you in New York. Thing. We don't have New York announced yet. Oh, but we will. <laughs> Are you gonna do Beacon Theater? I don't know where it, where it would be. Oh my God. We'll see. Beacon Radio be, City, you're so big, you can get anywhere. I don't know if I'm ready. For yes, Radio you are. City. Maybe yes, you are. How, how big is Radio City? I don't. It's big. Five thousand. Five thousand. Heather McMahon. Do you know Heather McMahon? Yeah, she's in Radio City. She's funny. Radio yeah. City is. I really don't. I don't really. I think we're. I think these preliminary dates. I'll see where I'm kind of at. Is your mom so proud of you? Yeah, she's. She Does loves, she ever come to the shows? Uh, she tries to as yeah. much as possible. Stop. How sweet. She's coming to. I have some shows in Alabama in a couple weeks. She's coming to those. That must be fun visit the Willow the Tree <laughs> while you're there. Yeah, we'll go to the Willow Tree, get Imagine. her some some outfits. Going back down south. Yeah, going going with her. I'll probably I'll probably give her a mic at some point during mm. the show and see what she's got. <laughs> bring, That'd be good. Bring her up on stage. <laughs> That'd be great. She likes it. She people ask how she feels about me talking about her, but I think she just likes being the center of yes. the attention. Yeah, yeah that's so. like that's like uh, Marty's mom. Her, her name's Jerry Black. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she sent me a box of dreidels yesterday. She did. Oh yeah. Yep. She sends nice. us care packages and she runs our Facebook group. Group. She's really, she's the best. She yeah. asks if I, what my food allergies are before Number setting one. me pumpkin bread. She's the best. And sometimes, wonderful lady. sometimes my mom helps. We have to talk to her via Ouija board. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> did she die on that deck march? I know. She when did she cause. die? 2014. Okay. That was a big one. That was, that was when they had the gang of Harley, <laughs> lesbians on Harleys, correct? <laughs> How long have y'all been friends? Oh, just about a year. Yeah. No. uh Yeah. Really? Yeah. Y'all seem like like long time friends. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of ups and downs for us. Yeah. <laughs> did, y'all, my weight. did y'all meet doing this? <laughs> we did doing this. We did, yeah. yeah. I would come here and sassy and around, going all the different podcasts and you know, uh-huh. promoting my um, jewelry business. Yeah. And <laughs> my lingerie modeling. So he was. Doing. So he, believe it or not, was a model, and he would be in just kind of his arm candy. That's a lot of chunky accessories <laughs> for many years. Um, it was. Yeah, and then yeah, and, I, and then um, she needed a co-host, so uh-huh. I came on over. Well, yeah, it was. He's, I, I sashayed in right in. Yeah. He's really good. For friends with Snooki and I remember we got like the list of people and they say who do you want and I go oh I, you know Snooki I think would be good and uh-huh. they go she's not available but her makeup artist is and I was like okay and we have a podcast Joe, together and Joey <laughs> and Joey walks in Joey walks in That's the door hilarious. she's not available but no but Joey walks artist. in the door and I kid you not he sat down we talked for 10 minutes I was like do this for free for four months and I will get you a job. Look and it was, just, it was just like I immediate, work, yeah. like right. immediate connection, immediate. Yeah. So you, let's go back to this. You were doing Snooki's makeup. <laughs> yes. Many years ago, over 10 years ago. Okay. And then we became best friends uh-huh. from there. And then we have, you know, we, we, um, Started doing podcasting and hosting shows together and yeah. reality spinoffs and okay. all different things. It's probably her now. Um, and uh, also, are, <laughs> no, it's, it's, are y'all still besties? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I love that's that. A, <laughs> on the holidays that's together. That's a collection Aww, service. Every day. That's sweet because you're Jersey. Yeah. Jim Tan Laundry. That's right. And we have a podcast called It's Happening. It's out every Thursday. Every um, fine that. podcasts are found. She seems cool. I've never yeah. met her. Yeah. Did Very you ever short, her? right? Did I impersonate her? No. no. <laughs> Chewy did. That does seem like something that, yeah, Chewy didn't play her. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. I think he did, actually. That's more, that's yeah. more on brand, I, yeah. Yeah, I feel like. Chelsea would have me impersonate That was my favorite. I had no, no business impersonating. It was my favorite. When you just come out and not even say anything, you just have your costume yeah. on. Just like, and like your facial expressions and your costumes would just be like all it, the words you needed. I told... I told her recently that she just treated me like her giant baby doll. Yeah. She just was like, put fortune in this. I think my first time on camera on Chelsea, she made me wear a bikini. And yeah. I, 
a top, a bikini top, but I I insisted I get to wear a jacket over yeah. it. But yeah, yeah. that's the kind of stuff she was going for with That me. was so much fun. She made me dress up like Honey Boo Boo. Oh, right, oh, right, 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 right. God, Honey Boo Boo. Come out with <laughs> so good. surprise Miley Cyrus. <laughs> How funny. Oh, so, I missed that show. Great. Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah. Um, are you still doing the Netflix after show? No, we did it just uh, kind of like a trial run yeah. to see. It was fun. I, yeah. I watched it. It was like uh, during the thick of the pandemic, pandemic and we we're like, let's try to see if this works on this platform. Yeah. It's hard. It's it was hard funny. on that platform doing a, a weekly show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a place that people just want to binge TV mm. and movies, you know? Go in a hole and not come out of the so room for 10 they days. They haven't figured out that, that more current thing. Yet. Yeah, yeah. It's tough, too. It's just people want to watch, like you said. Just like binge worthy yeah. shit. And then how do you get yourself promoted? When you do a Netflix special, they're like, okay, for the first week, you're going to be in the banner. Or like you work all that out. And then it's like after that. It yeah, there's so much content. Yeah. So you just have to you put your stuff out. and and But the nice part is that it's, it lives there so people can find it. I mean, the this special coming out, my Sweet and Salty special is now trending again. So, yeah. you know, it like comes stuff comes back around. Now she's a resurfacing queen. So, yeah, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> we got our faces resurfaced. Yeah, two days ago, we got Botox. Can you tell? You guys look gorgeous. I got a lip flip. What's a lip flip? If they put it in your lips and then it like makes it push, like push out. Oh. It's not set yet. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like I have palsy because my mouth is like What? Weird. When does it, what means, what, what does it mean when it sets? It's like. It's, It'll, now it will flip. Okay. <laughs> It'll be like more like. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. It's not going to be that crazy. Well, I, I already emailed her. I'm Joanne, go back. are you familiar with lip flips? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's already up more than it was. They tried to give it to me. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. I think I'd look too weird. Now, you're a surged out queen, correct? A search? Surged out queen. <laughs> Let's talk about your procedures. <laughs> what is Medical that? history. Lay, lay it all out on us, sister. What do you got done? Well, I have this and this and this. <laughs> yeah. If I had all that stuff and still look like this, I'd be in trouble. Do you like fake boobs? Uh, I love boobs. Yeah. So I'm not. Who doesn't, though? They were Even, like I like I like them for comfort. Yeah, they were trying to upsell. It was so awkward because it was like a thing for work. Because like oh my people God. got free Botox, mm-hmm. and like we're here with it's me and Joey, and then like a bunch of girls in the office. Yeah, no and the doctor came out. He's like, "No, ladies, if anyone's interested in a free breast uh, augmentation, augmentation consultation, just step in my office." All oh the girls were God. like, and then they brought out the tits. They brought out the fake tits, and they're all like holding them around. Like it's like, oh, feel this one. It's like yeah. now this is a teardrop. Okay. <laughs> this goes behind the muscle. This will go in your belly button now. Yeah. Inflate it like a, like a back tire, believe it or not. Oh my God. And they're all passing around like, I don't know. And there's, uh, there's it's just funny videos like all these flat chested women kind of like, <laughs> like all these flat. it was Caroline Banowitz. Yeah, they kept handing them to Banowitz. It was the one flat chested girl. Every time they got it, everyone handed it back to her. I was like, this is so <laughs> like, rude. What are, you, what are you insinuating? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I don't mind boobs, uh, fake or not. Yeah. Why not? You know, would you get a boob job? Bigger? I mean, I don't. I think it would be jarring if people all of a sudden saw me. Imagine you wearing low cut tops, low cut tops with, just, <laughs> with humongous tits, just like G, like big if old. I, boobs. If, if I like came out on stage and I had these big boobs, <laughs> and, and knee high, <laughs> knee high pantyhose on and pump and pumps, that might that might go against what people. But like not know say anything. Like people are like, not sure if yeah, it's a never joke or not. Yeah, never address it. I'm, I'm sure not comfortable have. talking about it. <laughs> are you just? You I don't want to talk about my body. You wear Brenda's clothes out just. Yeah. To, just integrate them into your wardrobe. I think it would it would make my career go in a different direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you're getting the wrong probably, audience. I know boob, boob job for me. Yeah, but I can appreciate others. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh, I hear you, sister. We gotta get you on uh, KFC Radio, one of our other shows. Yeah, here. I feel like you'd have a lot of fun with those guys. I yeah, I have a lot of fun. They're great. With, well, I just love guys. Yeah. <laughs> She's just one of the guys. I just one of the guys just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, this is so fun. Thank you for coming in. Of yes. course. Thanks for having me. And uh, her Netflix special is out now on Netflix. Yeah. Good fortune. And make sure to watch that and watch Salty and Sweet and see her on tour this year. Yeah. Um, where uh, every fun sh- wherever fun shows can be found. Yeah, fortunefeemster.com. It's the Live, Laugh, Love Tour, y'all. You get it, girl. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Thank guys. Thank you, Fortune.